I want you to have a look at the image on screen. Can you see the person's head? What about their right hand? Their left leg? It's really easy to spot all these key features and we can connect them all together and create a skeleton that looks something like this. And from the skeleton, it's very clear to see what kind of pose the person is pulling. The ability to be able to distinguish key points and form skeletons from images of people is called pose estimation. Current pose estimation techniques are actually optimized for pictures of people when they're in upright positions and when the image quality is very high. However, there are some cases in which pose estimation doesn't work quite so well. We can see it in this image where the middle person's pose is incorrectly predicted. And we can also see it in these set of images where a stuntman's pose is completely not detected by this technique. Hi, my name is Andy and I will be talking to you about my final year presentation on detecting and analysing fast-moving contorted poses in elite sports. Since our goal was to be able to predict accurate and precise body key points given videos of fast-moving contorted poses, we actually managed to break this project down into three steps. Detecting the body key poses, analysing the poses to improve the precision, and finally using the pose estimation models to be able to score videos of diving. When it comes to detecting these key points, we actually used a very specific machine learning technique called convolutional neural networks to be able to do this. A neural network is essentially a series of algorithms that recognize a specific type of pattern from a given set of inputs. In our case, the inputs are images and the patterns we're trying to predict are the body key points. Once we have trained our convolutional neural network to be able to predict a specific type of pattern given a specific type of input image, we can call this a model. Essentially, our model was trained on images of divers doing dives, and in turn, we used various videos of different types of dives, different diving events, to be able to see how our model performs. From trying our model on videos of various dives, we saw that it performs well when the footage is high quality, when there are no crowds in the background, and when the camera angle is filmed from the side. We also saw that our model doesn't perform well when the footage is blurry, when the scale of the diver varies, which can happen when looking at slow motion footage of dives, and if the background is non-contrasting with the diver. Once we recognise the various factors that were making our model perform worse, we looked towards rectifying them in order to create better and more precise predictions. We did this by not only analysing the key points predicted from the model, but also by looking at the images themselves. From all these various analysis techniques, we saw that some worked well and some didn't. And from the ones that worked well, we tried them out in various combinations and in different techniques to be able to see which specific combination of techniques worked the best. To see what combination of techniques most precisely kept track of the key points of the diver across the video, we actually held a survey where the surveyors had to compare two videos and pick which video they thought represented the key points most precise to the position of the diver on screen. From the results of our user survey and from the models that we have developed previously, we're able to perform this pipeline, which you can see here. We've put together our pipeline as a CoLab notebook so that anyone can run it from the web. As we can see, the steps are clearly laid out and all the user has to do is select which video they'd like to analyze and then press run. Simply by executing the sections in order, we extract frames from the video, run it through our machine learning model, run it through our analysis pipeline, and then output our resultant video that contains the correct and precise key points for the diver. The user is then able to download the video that contains the dive and the key points overlaid on top of them, as well as just the key point data itself. One advantage about having this as a CoLab notebook is that users are able to see the images with the key points overlaid on it, so they can choose to modify any of the analysis techniques before they download their resultant video. Now that we have developed our pipeline to be able to predict accurate and precise key points given videos of fast-moving contorted poses, we now look at how we can apply this when scoring videos of dives. Our hypothesis for this is if we have an input video and we're able to extract a pose from it, we can compare it to a baseline pose and use a similarity algorithm to see how similar these two poses are and use that similarity score to be able to score the input video itself. We tested this hypothesis by running a dance competition in which the contestants had to emulate the baseline video. We then compared the contestants' pose to the baseline pose and formed the overall scores. By combining the scores as well as the baseline videos and the contestants' videos, we actually get something that looks like this, in which we can clearly see the differences and similarities between the two different dances that are taking place. From running this dance competition, we have concluded that the more correct moves a contestant has, the higher their score is, which means we can now apply our hypothesis to diving. 
From running various similarity algorithms to be able to determine the rankings of the divers between each dive category, we have seen that our scoring mechanism for diving aligns well with the rankings that have been delivered by professional judges. Apart from diving, our model and scoring mechanism can be used to score other sports in real time, such as ice skating and gymnastics. In the future, we hope to extend this project by improving our machine learning model to be able to predict better key points, as well as using our 2D key points to be able to form 3D skeletons of the athlete themselves. Hopefully in the future, when judges are scoring various diving events, we'll have an action replay that looks something like this, in which we can clearly see the 2D pose estimates of the athlete, as well as their 3D skeleton in real time. If you want to try our detection and analysis pipeline on videos of your choice, then there's a link to the Colab notebook below and all the instructions are set up on there. Thank you very much for watching this video and also make sure to subscribe to the Department of Computing channel so that you stay up to date on all the cool things that are happening at Imperial.